Hi everyone. Greyhounds who have raced will have spent time in a noisy environment, but that still doesn't mean that they're going to be okay with fireworks. They can still find sudden noises such as fireworks or cars backfiring quite scary. It may cause them to start panting, pacing, drooling, or sometimes even physically shaking and trembling. And they may want to take themselves away and hide in a little corner somewhere. Now, as we move towards the autumn, it's time to get ready for fireworks season. Better to start early because there are things you can do in advance to be prepared for when fireworks happen. And if you know that your dog is scared of sudden noises, then now's the time to start. The first thing to do is to make sure that your garden is definitely escape proof. The last thing you need is to go out into the garden in the late afternoon or early evening and find fireworks start going off and your dog panics and manages to get out of the garden because there was a dodgy fence panel. You might want to try a thunder shirt. Now, this is a very stretchy shirt specifically designed for dogs that is intended to be fitted very tightly and it applies a gentle pressure around the rib cage, which can help make them feel more secure. For a greyhound, you're likely to need either a large or an extra large if it's a bigger one. The smaller sizes are somehow a bit too high around the neck. So go for those bigger sizes. If you don't want to buy a thunder shirt, you can get a similar effect by putting a small t-shirt on them and tying that up around the middle as well. I'd also set up a safe space for them. Let the dog choose where that's going to be. I had one dog who always wanted to go and hide in one of my bedrooms, a very specific place in one bedroom when there were thunderstorms or fireworks. And Daisy here, who you might not be able to see behind Gandalf, she likes to go into a very certain space in the front room and she needs to have a little space set up there, which is cozy and quiet for her to sit in. But she needs to be in that space. That's part of her coping mechanism. So once you know where the dog wants to be when things are difficult, then you might want to have a way of covering that space, maybe a crate or a playpen that you could put a blanket over and you want to let them be there quietly. You can start to desensitize the dog to the sound of fireworks using a CD or a recording of fireworks going off. Start off playing it very quietly, gradually increasing the sound level and so that you gradually build it up in a way that your dog can cope with. And this can be successful, certainly with fireworks, not so successful with things like thunderstorms because it's not always just the sound that causes a problem with a thunderstorm. You might also want to have a supply of things you can buy over the counter to try. You can get supplements and herbal remedies that are intended to be calming to help your dog feel relaxed. You could try a spray such as Pet Remedy or an Adaptil plug-in. And if these are not successful, it may be that you need to consider medication from your vet. So you do need to plan in advance so that you can get an appointment, discuss with the vet the best one to try. And for some of these things, you may need to start some time before you expect the worst of the noise to happen. So in the build up to bonfire night, in the build up to New Year in particular, if you're in the UK. So when it comes to bonfire night or new year and you know fireworks are going to be happening and you're concerned your dog may be frightened, some of the things you want to do just in advance or as they're starting. Think about walking earlier in the day or at the latest early afternoon, certainly in daylight. I would never risk going out once it gets dusky because then people will be letting off fireworks. You're more likely to have your dog having to cope with the loud noise while you're out on that walk and they can become panicked. So once it gets to late afternoon, I would stay inside, even if that means you're only going to have one walk in that day. And I'd probably try to get them to toilet in the garden before it actually gets dark, just in case they don't want to go out again later on. Do your best to shut out the light. Blackout blinds or thick curtains can be ideal for this. Make sure they're closed well in advance so that any bright light from the fireworks 
is not going to disturb the dog inside the house. And also shut out the noise, keep doors closed, keep windows closed, so any firework noise is not going to be as loud inside the house as it might be. And you can try to hide this noise with other sounds. So you might put on music intended for calming dogs. There's a lot of options out there on YouTube for that. You might also play classical music. This has been shown to be particularly helpful for calming dogs, helping them to feel relaxed. What I found can be successful is something loud and irregular, such as the goon show. So not something you would necessarily think of for this situation, but somehow the noise of the fireworks blends into that irregular sound from the goon show in this case, and seems to be less intrusive than something quieter or more melodic would be. You might consider giving them some sort of exciting treat as a distraction to keep them occupied, something like a Kong or a long lasting chew, or something soothing like a licky mat. And it helps if you can remain calm and act normally, just offering quiet reassurance. If you get stressed, if you start acting as if there's something to worry about, this can actually make your dog worse. Having said that, it's definitely a time to stay home. At key times when you think fireworks are being going to be happening, then I wouldn't plan to be going out. So maybe no firework displays for you, unfortunately better to stay home and be a comforting presence for your dog, even if you're not going to actually sit right with them. So I hope that that's given you some ideas to manage as you get towards bonfire night and indeed New Year. As we get later into the autumn, more and more fireworks are likely to be going off. So I'll see you again soon. That's all for today. Bye for now. Look out for new videos every Monday and why not subscribe so you don't miss out.